our question that we essentially want to solve today so maine ek random question liya theek hai it was asked in google right some random place i was just going through the internet and i thought ki let's not solve it through the principles of like the product sense principles that i put across let's try to solve them from the principles of game design the method of solving product sense questions which i've taught right the general method works completely works there is nothing wrong with it all i am trying to teach you are the philosophical or the critical bits of product management jo aapke liye bahut critical hai right theek hai ab awesome next so the first principle of game design is that games have goals objective achievable and rewarding let me repeat this across to you games have goals or products have goals objective achievable and rewarding ab iska matlab kya hai any goal that cannot be put in like a kpi kind of a metric generally is not objective i know i have only told you that in a lot of game design problems or in a lot of product design problem you don't have a typical objective but if you can if you can then it's a great thing what is second second is achievable if you set up a goal like for example i set up a goal that i want to essentially increase the ltv or the lifetime value of swiggy so that somebody does 100 orders in a in 6 months right is that truly achievable right can we push the user so we have to build a goal which which the user also finds that i'm achievable and how am i building a product to essentially make the person achieve that goal right and simultaneously when the goal is achieved right how rewarding it is right ki wow something amazing happened so i'll give you an, another example so there is this software called uh, or or this email client called superhuman right so superhuman decided that my objective goal is so what it is what does superhuman do it promises that i will declutter your email inbox and i will essentially reach to a point where you have consumed all the information right so the first thing that they did is they set up an objective goal ki my objective goal is inbox zero inbox zero ka matlab hai there is no unread messages in my inbox tell me honestly from all of your experiences who at this current time has inbox zero nobody i guess so ab socho ki the moment you hit inbox zero you feel like on top of the world like i know all information right majority of the people in the stream are saying it's not there why it is achievable so superhuman built some kind of an onboarding flow through which pe people figured out that how do they reach it and do you know what happens when they essentially reach inbox zero sab kuch gayab ho jata hai and they see like amazing photos amazing photos like great uh, photos of monasteries scenic photos saying that wow this is the experience the mind experience that you are getting so you should check out superhuman right but so initially in our product so we our question is how do you design a bicycle renting app for tourists right so the first thing is i am very clear that i gave you like the user persona which is tourists right so i set up a goal for myself i said goals for tourists is to discover a bike unlock it use it in less than 2 minutes in a new country right so i set up an objective goal an achievable goal and also re a rewarding goal right that in 2 minutes in a new country like i have been to like so many countries and it it is always different different to or it difficult to find the right kind of vehicle and and i said no i'll keep it in 2 minutes right which essentially now the moment you essentially applied this concept of game design and i said that these three attributes should exist what are the ideas that come into your head the first idea that comes into your head is do we need an app do we need a native native language onboarding so that these guys can essentially already like think about how do you use in 2 minutes do we need to integrate it with worldwide payment systems because they are generally happy by using a local currency do we mean that these guys don't have a driver's license because we essentially want everybody to do this right once the bike is unlocked should we also show nearest greatest places to visit early with a bike and would be hard to walk like are we essentially building something of an experience right which essentially tells you that my final goal of essentially unlocking and using it happens in 2 minutes right how do i essentially so the moment you start thinking from the principle of design that it has to be objective achievable and rewarding you will automatically start thinking about clarifying questions right if i have to achieve it in 2 minutes what are the things do i really need that and you will start thinking about clarifying questions right so the moment i set up a very rewarding goal right automatically your mind says that these are the five six questions that i essentially need to solve for right 
there can be more right but earlier you had to develop a clarifying question based on whatever your experience is now i have put a put a bottom layer to it i have said this is the bottom layer you have your goal has to be objective achievable and rewarding if it has to be an objective achievable and rewarding what are the clarifying questions that essentially come to you right so guys did you understand how we tied the first goal to the clarifying questions which is generally a principle of our product design experience so what we did we said our goal has to be objective achievable and rewarding based on to build it objective achievable and rewarding these are the clarifying questions that are essentially coming to me make sense so the first goal of game design is that goals should be objective achievable and rewarding make sense awesome awesome bahut badhiya theek hai now let's come to the second principle of game design right best games create strong emotion right best games create very strong emotions do so always design for nuanced emotion right what i mean by that is generally good games whenever you maybe you killed somebody in contra right you essentially feel wow or you do something in gta right you get this emotion of happiness and bliss right so there is this great design chart or emotion chart which is given by the design institute i'll share it across to you it shows you different kind of emotion em, emotional layers right what is joy what is bliss what is happiness what is sadness all of those things it put across puts across you essentially have to think that if the goal is objective is it really achievable right if you take a like a 3 year long term goal or like a 5 year long term goal right you cannot predict the future right so you have to essentially make that bifurcation that what do i what do i mean by achievable do these guys will they be able to achieve this goal actually in a limited frame of mind so then you can essentially say that it is objective as so all three preconditions have to be meet objective achievable and rewarding right so ye teeno cheeze honi chahiye theek hai so the second principle of game design is always design for strong emotions right now let's bifurcate now the next thing what we do is we know that tourists is our segment so we bifurcate it across what are the needs of the tourists right the first is native language of the, of the tourist right if you get this they'll get this feeling of optimism or joy right locating a bike again optimism right get an idea of the cost content that oh it is within my cost start my ride and ride safely elated right oh i'm very happy right deposit the bike after completing the journey amazed that you can put it anywhere right make payment for the trip satisfied right that i am really satisfied get suggestions for popular destinations and restaurant during my journey thankful which is joy so you essentially bifurcated all the needs based on the fact that what emotion does it invoke yahan tak baat samajh mein and we will look i will share this chart with you this is very popular right what is start my ride and ride safely ka matlab hai ki i am riding a bike and god forbid kuch ulta ho jata hai kuch ulta ho jata hai to i should be able to and we will talk about solutions and stuff like that right so it essentially means that i am able to start my ride after just scanning the qr code and i am able to ride safely by wearing a helmet or whatever and what not whatever itself and it's a great ride so i am elated that i can ride safely because i have safety features also built in like if you if you get a fall probably i'll send a whatsapp message to your nearest like close one door or whatever and what not so what emotion does it invoke right and you try to map those emotions right saying that this emotion should generate generate this this is so what really happens is while you are building those features because these are not features these are just needs right while you are building those features you'll always think about the emotion that while i'm building this feature right how do i in, invoke the the value of joy or optimism right so the second thing is i know this is slightly advanced but please bear with me right we can we can include emergency assistance absolutely so it is that is why i am elated now that my ride if i am able to ride safely it will give me a feeling of joy that i am really happy that they are taken care of that so i am elated right so that is why i am trying to put across is always design for nuanced emotion nuanced emotion basically can you categorize the needs on tying them saying that what emotion will it generate right and then while you are tagging those those emotions while you are designing the solution you will go back and say is my solution generally invoking a feeling of joy or getting an invoking of optimism does it do that so 
that's the second step while you're putting user needs make sense again this is like a theoretical exercise but it's a good exercise it's a great exercise so that you are able to building that intrinsic motivation that these small small steps are going going to essentially take us to the nuanced part of things what we will try to do is we look at the emotional curve and see that which needs invoke what emotions that's the second principle of game design always create flows which essentially take you towards strong emotions right okay so shiv is saying but when we say needs it means mapping out absolutely so shiv basically it means mapping out the user journey and building the flow but i am trying to say when you are building that need right can you just tie it to an emotion and say that this is the emotion that it, it will actually invoke in the product make sense right Shiv, I think you are new to the lecture. You should ideally go to the previous lecture. We have done it in the right. We have done it the general way already. So I would please recommend is going to the lecture. Most of the questions that you're essentially asking are generally related to what I've covered in the previous lecture. This is slightly advanced. So for the people who have who are consistent in the live stream, they'll be able to make a lot of sense about it. Okay.